Well, the referee tonight comes from West Germany. That's Karl Heinz Trischer. A perfect evening here at Hamden as Scotland get their second World Cup qualifier underway. And the opening stages will be very important indeed tactically as these sides attempt to settle down. There's Mo Johnston being dumped on the seat of his pants right at the start of the match. The tackler was Radanovic of Standard Liège. And Johnston certainly used to that kind of treatment. He'll be brave enough, there's no doubt about that. So it's a free kick to... Scotland. Uh, the Fleish has joined the attack with Richard Goff, a potent threat up front for Scotland. So Jim Bett preparing to take the free kick. Bett winning his 20th cap tonight back in the international scene. And that's up to away to safety there by Katanic. That's beyond Steve Nicholl. And it's Vujovic on the break for Yugoslavia, their captain. Long ball played wide for Stojkovic, and there's Morris Malpass taking no chances. I'm sure Andy Gordon would have welcomed the early touch of the ball there, but Malpass saw that possibility cut off by Stojkovic. Got a push in the back by McStay on Vazdanovic, so a free kick now to Yugoslavia. Something of experts at set pieces, the Yugoslavs. And the Scottish players have been very closely advised about their menace from this position. The driven ball into the box is away there to Katanic and the turn behind off Steve Nicol. That is. I thought oh, it's a free kick. It looked as though it was going for a corner kick, but the referee has spotted the linesman signal on the far side and Scotland can break out of defence with a free kick. This is Alec McLeach. Johnston going up. There's Roy Aiken. Ball eased out by Hadzivejic. Number five, an experienced player in defence. There's Johnston, now Aiken with the early cross. And it comes off Jozic, the sweeper, and that's the first corner kick of the night for Scotland. Well, Scotland are certainly hoping for something from corner kicks with Richard Goff and Alec McLeish able to join the attack. McLeish still to open his account for Scotland, but Richard Goff has managed three international goals. There's Paul McStay. It's helped on there by McClear and just beyond Johnston. Good run off his marker by Brian McClear, but Mo Johnston was just out of reach. Spazic. Stojkovic is number seven. Back with Jozic. And Radanovic. There's Daravic. Yugoslav's experts at retaining possession, putting passes together. Very good close control. Kill this one from Stojkovic. There's Johnston. And the throw goes to Yugoslavia. Zdanovic will take the throw once he goes back a few yards. Zdanovic once again. Sanojkovic doing well, playing it inside. Titanic. This is Svetkovic. Vujovic making a run. This is Spajic now, the fullback coming up in support. We can expect to see a lot of that tonight. Both fullbacks will be released on the flanks. It was Steve Nichols' challenge. There's Spajic. So up comes Radanovic to join the attack. But the main threat in the box will come from number eight, who is Shrekko Katanic of Stuttgart. And I think he may well be marked by Richard Goff. And he's taken for the moment Stanojkovic inside the box. Good catch by Gorham. Well, a 
any save was designed to inspire confidence in the Scottish defence, it was that one. The driven corner kick, beautifully taken by Gorham. All thoughts of Jim Leighton banished for once. Scottish fans giving Andy Gorham a great reception for that early bit of action. There's Richard Goff, here's Johnston. Beaten to the ball there by Hadzi Bejic. It's his marker for the night. Brian McClure's shadow is Rodanovic. There's Johnston. There's Steve Nicholl. Ball is still in play and a bit of pushing there by Spajic. The linesman indicating to the referee that it was an infringement and it's a free kick to Scotland. As far as the linesman is concerned, Spajic looks disbelieving at the linesman. The free kick, it is. Signal again for Alec McLeish to come up. Richard Goff is already in the box. Nicole leaves the free kick to McStay. Deep one this time. McLeish could breach it. Here's Malpass. Stanojkovic who got to the ball first, he's a break on for Yugoslavia, this is Vetkovic, he's very quick indeed, well supported by Stojkovic, Katanovic and the offside flag was up, no, the referee looking towards the linesman who waved play on, so that was a golden opportunity for Svetkovic. This could so easily have been an opener for Yugoslavia, Goram going down just enough to scramble the ball away. Well, the menace of Yugoslavia clear for all to see. Lots of pace and attack coming from Svetkovic in particular. Number nine plays for Ascoli in Italy. Number three is Spajic, lending his height to the attack. Stojkovic with the corner kick. Goro this time forcing the ball on, and Richard Goff turns it behind. So there are some anxious early moments for the Scots. And they got him under a lot of pressure, just forcing the ball on, and it was Goff who turned it behind for the corner kick. So some more work for the Scottish defence. That was the big defender, Radanovic, who joined the attack, but he couldn't direct the header goals. Measure build up from Scotland. There's Richard Goff looking for Johnston. Good leap by Johnston. The supporting player is Brian McClear. Here's Johnston. Well, was he impeded by Spajic? He certainly took a blow in the face. The flying arm, they're catching Mo Johnston. There's Richard Goff doing well to force the ball back to McLeish. There's Steve Nicholl. Tackled hard by Spajic. This is McClear. Good close control from Brian McClear. Back with the fish. On the far side is Jim Bett. And Bett clearly leaning into Stanojkovic. Pushed by Bett, giving the free kick to Yugoslavia. Scottish fans clearly unhappy about that, but the referee had a very close up view of the action. And number five is Hadzibajic. Show in France, the same club as Bazdarovic in midfield. Ivkovic is the keeper. Spinning off the head of McLeish, it's Miller at the back with the header clear. Miller really managed to play the whole match in Oslo without having to head the ball on any occasion, so now he's broken his World Cup heading duck. Back it goes from Goff. Gorham now seeking out the head of Morris Johnston. There's Nickel. Now McClear. Johnston goes wide on the right, making an angle for the pass. Playing that against Spajic. Well, a kick was prevented. And Paul McStay with a throw. There's Goff. Stay once again. 
using Goff inside. Here's Aiken and now Miller. That was intended, I think, for Bet on the far side. The spin judged well by McClear. That's for Steve Nicol. Great chance now for Scotland. Nicol going all the way. And it's turned to safety by Josic. Brilliant play from Scotland. McClear and Nicol in particular. Corner kick is quickly taken. There's Paul McStay. There's Malpass. Eaten by Svetkovic. Bejic. Well, some marvellous play there from Scotland. It was set up by Brian McClare, judging the spinning ball well. The accurate pass to Nicol, the driving run, a fine shot, well beaten out by Ivkovic. Now it's back with Razdanovic, who's had to go very deep to win possession. So the Scots hustling again inside the Yugoslav half. Tactics of that kind used a good effect against Norway and Oslo last month. The Yugoslavs getting some treatment from the Scottish fans for their willingness to keep the ball inside their own half. McLeish with the header. McLeish playing it short from Malpass. That's for Bet to chase, but he sliced the pass forward, and that's a throw to Yugoslav. Boris Malpass there, winning his 22nd cap tonight. Up goes McLeish, there's Paul McStay getting a touch to McClear. Inside it goes to Aiken, Nichols made it on again, making space for Richard Goff coming up on the overlap. Good play from Goff. English love defence stands firm, but Scotland attacking with pace and invention. Good understanding there between Nichol and Goff on the right side of the field for Scotland. There's Willie Miller. There's Ladovic helping it on. Stojkovic. Well, Aiken doing well with that challenge, getting the ball back to McLeish. Good turn by Johnston. Good recovery tackle also by Vazdanovic, and Johnston sent spinning off the ball. Left the line play to continue with Johnston on the ground. Scotland in possession with McClear. Well, up there, well, up there's Vazdanovic. Oh, Johnston is still out of things on the ground as McClear tries to regain possession. Yugoslavs on the break, it's Stojkovic. Great running play by Svetkovic. So it was Vujovic, and headed away by Willie Miller. There's Richard Goff. That was very accurate indeed. Nodding it down to Andy Gorham, showing a lot of confidence in the keeper. Mo Johnston is back on his feet, looking somewhat unsteady. Well, he's had some tough treatment early in the match. Nikol going up to Spajic. Yugoslavia getting the throw, which they're in no particular hurry to take. There's Fred Wright Spajic of Partizan Belgrade. The second cap only tonight. And five is Hadzibajic. Midfield Stojkovic. Very talented player, highly regarded in Europe. Plays for Red Star Belgrade. Katanic and Radanovic. Johnston working hard between these two Yugoslav players. So Scotland persisting with a four-man midfield. Nicol, McStay, Aiken and Bett with the front two, Johnston and McClear. Richard Goff challenging well in the Scotland half, is Aiken. Jim Bett takes up position inside. Now with Goff, now Nicol. Trying to turn past the Goff, and there was a late challenge on Steve Nicol by Spajic, who certainly is putting himself about. 
So the free kick to Scotland. The West German referee waving back Vujovic. Here's McStay. Oh, great play from McStay, making space for himself to find Willie Miller in the centre circle. Here's McStay again. Now Nickel. Through the legs of Spajic. He was held off the ball there by the big defender, but the referee weighs play on. There's Darovic being chased now by Aiken. This is Bujovic on the left. Switching play to the far side to Stojkovic. Well, Svetkovic is not at all happy on the penalty spot with that effort from Stojkovic. Very ambitious effort indeed. stage of the match proving that Yugoslavia are a very accomplished side indeed. Here's Brian McClay trying to rifle that inside Spasic and almost release Nickel. Good possession play in midfield from Yugoslavia. Here's Stojkovic again. Then on the run through the middle is Jozic. It's with Katanic. Very powerful right foot but no threat there for Andy Gorham and the Scottish guard. Pass to McLeish using Goff as a decoy. That's one for Jim Bett to chase. He's in behind Stanojkovic, supported by Malpass. Great play from Malpass. The change of pace, taking away from his man. Still Malpass. Now McLeod with a return pass. Morris Malpass. There's Mo Johnston. Yes. Scotland take the lead with 16 minutes gone. Danic. 
Well, it's now passed brilliantly in with that interception. Bet now to McStay. It's Bet once again. Great play again from Scotland. Steve Nichols in the clear on the right. Johnston's ahead of him. He's onside. Well, the pass from Steve Nichols not good enough for Johnston. With the game continuing at a tremendous pace. 20 minutes gone. The Scotland leading by one goal to nil. Stojkovic for Yugoslavia. Stojkovic plays it back. Stojkovic again. Rozic, the sweeper, coming forward more and more now. There's Rozic again. Spazic. Possession all important to the Yugoslavs. They're brought up that way. Here's Bezdanovic. Stojkovic with a long range effort into that by the combined attentions of Brian McQuarrie and Morris Malpass. Again, Stojkovic is seeing a great deal of the ball for Yugoslavia. Svetkovic and Stojkovic. Svetkovic making that run. He's very quick and that was well read and spotted by Willie Miller. Svetkovic undoubtedly the quickest player on the Yugoslav side, perhaps even on the field. Marojkovic with the head of this Katanic and it's picked away by Miller. Sensible play there by McClare who didn't win with his foot up, the bouncing ball. Realising that would have been a certain free kick. Here's Dalovic with a time pass. Here's Stojkovic. Jozic calling for the ball in the middle. He hasn't been picked up. Johnston trying to get back. And he got him taking no chances. Jozic appears to be a problem for the Scots when he springs from the sweeper roll. Scotland, Jim Bett sets up for the one again this was profitable the last time it happened for Scotland but Bett this time won't reach it the play up to Johnston back it goes to Aiken and a clumsy one from Roy Aiken Scotland still have possession there's Malpass that's towards McClear Ivanovic over the top of McClure, but the Scotland striker was backing in, so no free kick is given. Here's McLeish with Svetkovic. Svetkovic doing well. Here's Willie Miller. He has to be careful. Malpass trying to help it on towards McLeish. Bet helping it on, but it's all a little bit, a little bit scrappy at the back from Scotland for the moment. Still the pressure is on. Up goes Richard Goff with that powerful header. It's Johnston now with some space on the break. McClure is with him. Richard Goff steaming up also to join the attack. Steve Nichols behind. Here's Nichol. Goff's ahead of him. Great play by Nichol. Here's Richard Goff. Johnston again. Goff inside. Here's Johnston. That's a long ball towards Jim Betts. Good play from Johnston once again, leading the line brilliantly. Pass from Jim Betts. Ball straight to Jozic. Stojkovic. This is Stojkovic. Swap to the left to Spazic. Stojkovic now regrouping inside the own half. Stojkovic wants the ball all the time. Here's Bezdanovic. Stojkovic takes it back. Challenge came from Malpass. That was enough to win possession for Paul McStay. 
Well, nothing obvious on ahead of him, so Paul McStay has no hesitation in using Andy Goddard. Nikola and Spazic together once again. They've been in that position on this near side all evening so far. Some very tough exchanges between them. Johnston again available. Here's Steve Nicol. That's into space for McClare. Coming players Radanovic. Richard Goff just out of range and taken right out of the play by Spazic. Well, Fred Rack Spazic. Ball once again in a very tough tackle and looked as though this ball was his for the taking anyway because Richard Goff appeared to be out of range but Spazic more interested in Goff than the ball. So an opportunity for Scotland. Well, we stay with a free kick, queuing up at the far post. There's Goff! Superb effort from Richard Goff. Look at the frustration in his face. Played in by Paul McStay, Goff getting up superbly to this header. Couldn't get high enough to place the header under the bar. Looks like it goes to Davor Jozic and across to the near side to Frank Hadzibajic. Good play from next day. He has a clear in space. He has to be quick. Taken out of that by Radanovic. The referee is allowing play to continue, I think. Well, perhaps he thought there was an advantage to Jim Vett, but Radanovic taking the clear right out of the play. Well, Lucas Lars for my money. Fortunate there to have possession. And he could have faced a free kick. And on the far side, Stanojkovic. Kutanic. Scotland have certainly suppressed him. I've never done of it so far. It's Stojkovic who's been the principal threat in midfield. Good play there from Roy Aiken. Well, he seemed to play the ball quite cleanly, but the West German referee wasn't satisfied, nor was Bezdanovic limping away from that challenge. Aiken with Bezdanovic. Well, eventually, when Aiken gets the challenge in, well, perhaps the first challenge was an infringement. And he's out for a Scotland goal kick. It's too far ahead of Stanojkovic. Well, the referee having a war with Andy Gorham. It appears as though he's concerned that the goalkeeper will be guilty of time-wasting this early in the match. Lofting it high in the air. Tall figure of Spazic wins it. And 24 years old, despite that receding hairline. Johnston hustled out of that by Hadzibaji. The referee wants the throw taken from the Correct spot and will be taken in the end by Richard Goff, winning his 39th cap tonight for Scotland. And indeed, the referee was not satisfied, it was taken to the right place, so it's a foul throw, and that means possession to Yugoslavia. Danich back to Spajic. A foul this time by Aiken, no question about that. He clearly thinks that Bezdanovic was guilty of a bit of play acting, but it did appear as though Aiken caught him. That's Bejic playing it across the far side. This is Stojkovic again coming deep to win possession. Svetkovic playing it into space. Brett was beaten to the ball there by Stanojkovic. There's Paul McStay, doing well to play it out towards McClare. And obstruction on McClare, surely no, the referee allows play to continue. Nicol with a careless one forward, here's Katanic, here's Stojkovic. This is for Vujovic, the early ball inside, and Richard Goff was there, helped by McLeish, and Andy Gordon looking very sprightly in the Scotland goal. Malpass showing his two-footedness with the clearance. 
Vet was powerful going for that ball. He has Johnston on the left touch line this time. Pass was well anticipated by Hadzi Bejic. That's Bezdanovic. The far side again, Stojkovic. Bezdanovic is free on the left. Near side for Yugoslavia. We're on the half hour mark now. No Johnson's goal separating the teams as Jozic comes forward. Bezdanovic trying to play it inside McStay. He didn't make it. Now McClare's all on his own for the moment. He may take this for a run. He now has Johnston on the right. Once again, incredible stamina shown by Mo Johnston, supporting that break very quickly indeed. Long, deep cross, looking for Roy Aiken. And Aiken will be penalised again for a foul on Stanojkovic, doing a spot of wrestling there as he tried to reach that goal. Bojadan Stanojkovic, the fullback, throwing lots. There's the free kick taken by Ivkovic in goal. That's the Bejic is the number five in possession. As Daravic finds space in midfield, so does Stojkovic. Now passed it well. There's Bet. Having a good understanding early in the match with Malpass. There's Alec McLeish. Put under pressure straight away by Vujovic in particular. Stojkovic showing excellent close control, very confident on the ball. That's one for Spezic to chase, Richard Goff getting across with the tackle. Beautifully timed. Good start for the match for Richard Goff. Vujovic with Steve Nichol. It's a fine deep cross. Malpass doing well on the challenge and it's Jim Bett tidying up far side. Done well on the left side of the midfield, a vital role in that opening goal. There's control for once letting him down. He's been very good so far in that department. There's Vujovic getting away from Richard Goff. There's Daravic offering support inside. Nickel trying to get in terms. There's Stojkovic. Bolnik stays with him still. Stojkovic lining up the shot at goal. An awkward one for Goron off the deflection from Goff. Stojkovic very much the danger man for Yugoslavia. It's him there to change of pace, a little shuffle away from Stojkovic. Here's McClear. It's help from Aiken. Just toward Johnston. And it goes to McClear, a good build-up again coming from Scotland. McClear getting away through the gap there. Brilliant play again for McClear, the final cross. Going straight to the chest of Jozic. Again, but caught down by Paul McStay. What a hefty challenge that was by Jozic. Paul McStay took a very heavy tackle indeed. Jozic protesting, I can't think why. McStay robbing him very cleanly here. There's McStay winning the ball. Takes it away from Jozic and takes that siding late tackle. Hugh so Allen, the Scottish physio, is on to treat Paul McStay. Jozic plays his football in Italy for Mazena. McStay, among other things, losing his left foot. Very resilient player, Paul McStay. Despite the close attention he takes in week after week, he manages to get clear of injury. Very well indeed, a very strong player in the game. Scotland's free kick stays involved again with Steve Nicholl. Explaining that he's fair enough to take it if required. Stay thumping it in. And Richard Goff almost collected that on the run. Clearly saw the ball far too late as it dropped over the head of the defenders. Looks of a chance for Richard Goff, but it's Bezdanovic now for Yugoslavia. A long ball forward, it's Willie Miller getting back with Svetkovic. And he got on going up to win it. Well, Willie Miller best for Scotland in defence but one of the quickest players in Europe racing after this ball Svetkovic and it was Willie Miller who matched him to get a vital touch to lob the ball back and down goes Vujovic the challenge came from Richard Goff Goff protests his innocence and the free kick goes to Yugoslavia now this is extremely dangerous 
Now the Yugoslavs have proved their deadliness in set pieces many, many times in the recent past. And you've got him lining up a wall. Stojkovic will be involved. I think Radaranovic may well become involved also. Katanic is also a deadly man in set pieces. One of the has moves expected from the Yugoslavs. Stojkovic lining up the free kick. Ten minutes from half time, a vital moment in the match. And Stojkovic beaten away by and he got him. Splendid goalkeeping. He's complaining he didn't get a touch, it came off the post. Let's see it again. Stojkovic got him at full stretch. The referee had an excellent view and he decided that was a corner kick. Swing corner this time, a chance it over Katanic, the ball is in the net. Katanic equalises for Yugoslavia. 35 minutes on the clock. The in swinging corner kick at the near post, not cleared properly. There's Katanic playing the ball forward, Gorham leaning back, and it couldn't be cleared off the line by Nikol. Katanic gets a goal back for Yugoslavia. This really is a magnificent football match between two sides who look very much in the mood. The scoring scoring from getting that early lead, now having to start all over again. Certainly have shown lots of enthusiasm for the fray, though, the Scots, playing against a very accomplished side. And Oikovic doing well to turn it back towards Jozic. Ivkovic, a happier man than that, the keeper, 29 years old. Arik McLeish going over Svetkovic for the header to give the throw to Yugoslavia. Here's Stojkovic again, racing into the box, Katanic. It's back though, the chance is on for Spasic. Scottish defence looked a little bit hesitant there and they got him a relieved man to find that shot going well over the top. Spasic with an excellent opportunity. There's Johnston. Appeared to be leaned on there by Spazic, the referee saw nothing wrong, and there's a tackle by Goff, Spazic again. The dummy well read by Malpass. Here's Bet. Malpass coming forward at the careless ball, picked up in midfield by Katanic. And Nickel has to come back to help in defence for Scotland from his midfield role. And the wind changing going on up front from the Scottish strikers, McLeod and Johnston, but it's back with Richard Goff. Jozic with the header into touch. Scotland's throw will be taken by Steve Nicholl. This is Johnston. Making room for Steve Nicholl to the out swinging cross. There goes the header from Roy Aiken. for Scotland, beautifully set up, Johnston to Nicol, the long, deep, outswinging cross, up went Roy Aiken, and the header beat Ivkovic, but went wide of the post. <laughs> Nicol appeared to be pushed by Bazdanovic, who's mixed there? And the question of an action midfield, and it's back with McStay. Oh, that's great play from the Scottish midfield player under intense pressure. Offside flag is up against Svetkovic. Oh, Paul McStay showing courage and showing good close control. Svetkovic the flying machine up front, caught offside. Fish, free kick. Chukov gets a touch, there's Johnston. Goff supporting again, playing the early ball in, here's Johnston. Looking for a corner kick and he gets it, it came off Hadzi Vejic. Good play 
again with Scott and Dock playing it in there with Johnston snatching in the shot which came off the defender for the corner kick. Plays it up again. Such a golf is already there. Deep one this time, looking for golf. Danic has space to develop something now for Yugoslavia. Vujovic on the break, Yugoslav's getting a lot of players forward. This is dangerous now for Scotland. Malpass halting the progress of Vujovic, he's done well. And a very dramatic dive by Vujovic, not deceiving the West German referee. Scotland in possession. This is Paul next day. The player makes a run, he was bumped off the ball by Spasic, the referee didn't see that. Well, some little bits of nastiness creeping in from time to time on the Yugoslav defenders. Richard Goff will let that run all the way through to Andy Gorham. Skipper tonight, Willie Miller. Roy Aiken, the squad captain, but Willie Miller, the team captain for the night. Next day, making room for himself once again. Here's Willie Miller. Johnston's head flick, but that was well judged by Hadzi Bejic, who waited for it. Is that a bitch? Hadzi Bejic. Rosic will play it back and sure to Ivkovic. Stanojkovic making progress on the far side. Is Stojkovic again finding space? Rosic then made the tackle, but Stojkovic rides it. This is Kapanic. This Pasic free on the left. Goff comes across. Kapanic again. This is Spazic leaves it to Stojkovic. Roy Aiken is there, Spazic is free once more, in the middle is Vazdanovic. Radanovic keen to have the shot at goal. The big number six, the central defender. You see again how accomplished the Yugoslavs are in possession. Here's Paul McStay, making space for himself with that fine piece of play. Now, can he deliver a telling pass? Yes, it's Paul Johnston on the right. Scott's going forward, and that's swerving in under the crossbar. The number eight commits to be a little bit casual, but he had that well under control. certainly was leading the ball to obstruct Brian McClear. McClear protesting to the referee, but the free kick goes to Yugoslavia. And McClear's commitment certainly not in question tonight, giving everything for his country. Stanojkovic. Roy Aiken made the challenge and broke for McStay. Steve Nichols setting off on the run on the right, followed by Spezic. Keeps it in play. Here's Paul McStay again. Nickel inside. McStay opening it out to Miller. On the far side is Malpass. Good play from Scotland and the pass driven with just a little bit too much power for Malpass. Nickel and McStay showing a lot of confidence, playing themselves out of trouble in a tight corner. Bujadan Stanojkovic of Vardar pulled back, but it's Scotland again who have possession with Malpass. Back it comes to McStay, seeing more and more of the goal, the ball though, and that's obviously vital from the Scottish point of view. Here's Richard Goff coming in on the blind side, and he's been penalised for a push in Spasic. Made good progress to get into the box. One of the advantages of having Steve Nicholl in front of him in right midfield is that Nicholl can drop back easily into a right back position when 
kickoff goes in one of those bodies. McLeish going to meet Panic. There's Mo Johnston and McClear. And there goes the half-time whistle. The end of the first half in a splendid international match. Mo Johnston getting the opening goal in 16 minutes for Scotland. Brilliant play between Malpass and Brian McLear. Malpass with the shot, Johnston with the finish. That was in 16 minutes, but then in 35 minutes, this man Katanic equalised for Yugoslavia. Near post corner kick not cleared up, and Katanic managed to stab it home. To make the half-time score here at Hamden, Scotland won, the Yugoslavia won. The first calendar year in which the Yugoslavs have won three away international matches. That's a measure of their confidence, but there's an error right at the start of the second half. Well, now, can Scotland take advantage? The Yugoslavs have been won in Wales, Switzerland and Spain. They've drawn in West Germany, they've drawn at home against Italy this year. That's a very fine record. They're currently drawing against Scotland. Richard Goff in the box, it's Jim Beck with the corner kick, out it goes to McLeish goes off the head of Jozic and Vizdarovic couldn't keep it in that's another corner kick to Scotland well Scotland were very anxious indeed to cash in from these early set pieces if they had any doubt before the match how tough this would be they've been dispelled, that's for sure up goes Goff but well challenged by Spazic so he couldn't direct the header the way he wanted with the goal kick six matches so far between Scotland and Yugoslavia and Scotland undefeated they won twice here at Hamden and they've drawn four times in the middle it goes Richard Goff and Alec McLeish combining they get there together to play it back to Gorham the long ball looking for Johnston he goes head to that but it was too far ahead of Ryan McClear Johnston had a fine first half, particularly an opening spell in which he seemed to be involved in everything in the build-up for Scotland. Well, plenty of support coming from the Scottish fans who appreciate this performance. Here's Brian McClear. Now McStay. Scotland have switched in, mid in the midfield for the second half. They have Jim Bett on the right and Steve Nicholl on the left. Free kick has been given to Scotland. Jim Bett was impeded by Spazic. Vazdarovic thought the free kick was to Yugoslavia. That's been sorted out by the referee. So Bett on the right, Nickel on the left for the second half. And all the way through to Johnston. And the shot blocked by Stanovic. That's uh, another corner to Scotland. A very encouraging opening spell in the second half 
McLeish and Aiken on the near post. Goff, the far corner of the box. Great by Kadanic. Little challenging hard. Vujovic back helping his defence, the Yugoslav skipper. Trying to play it off Steve Nichol. Blocked again, there's McClear. There's Daravic. Under pressure immediately from Paul McStay. There's Daravic showing his strength and his close control. There's Katanic now for Yugoslavia on the break. It's so menacing from this position. Goff was caught upfield. Jozic plays it out to the far side, it's Spazic. Scotland now have men back to defend. Here's Stoj Stojkovic. Best Yugoslav player, in my view, in the first half. There he goes again with the cross. Malpass has to get a touch, and... Goran took up good position, it was Vujovic with the header. Well, this could have punished Scotland. The long, deep cross goes over the head of Morris Malpass. In comes Vujovic, and Goran was in good position. On the end, it's Brian McClure trying to keep the ball in play and a slip at the wrong moment. Very unlucky indeed for Brian McClure, who's running himself into the ground tonight for Scotland. Day. That was intended for Goff, but there was an, an opening for Yugoslavia with Vujovic. Svetkovic goes to the left, and Stojkovic waits in the middle. Svetkovic playing it back to Bezdanovic. Cover was there for Scotland. There's Katanic. Going forward now to Bezdanovic. Aiken was too late for the challenge. Svetkovic to Stojkovic. Stanojkovic. Wants to take on Steve Nichol. Stojkovic again. So comfortable on the ball. Here's Stojkovic. Nichol trying to prevent the cross. That'll be a corner kick to Yugoslavia. The corner kick which was Scotland's downfall in the first half with that equaliser in 35 minutes. Full back Stojkovic doing well in attack this time for Yugoslavia. Vujovic at the near post, marked by Johnston. Stojkovic with the outswinger. Andy Gorham goes to collect, and there was a flag up in any event. I think the ball perhaps swerved out of play, and that'll be a goal kick to Scotland. Stay beaten by Bezdanovic, uh, McStay rather, beaten by the Yugoslav number 10. A free kick is given to Yugoslavia. Svetkovic. That's a free kick to Stanojkovic on the near side. To Stojkovic. Good tackle this time by McStay, who's held by Stojkovic. The two youngest players. On each side, Stojkovic smiling, so is the referee. Both Paul McStay and Stojkovic, 23 years old. Both wearing number seven, and the free kick to Scott. There's Alec McLeish. Pumping that towards Richard Goff, but Spasic wins it comfortably, here's Bujovic. Spasic again, Mo Johnston cuts off the road to Ivkovic in goal. Jozic. Radanovic. Stanojkovic will play it back to Ivkovic. Well, this perhaps indicates the Yugoslavs would be content to leave Hamden with a point, although much of their play in the first half suggested they were capable of being more ambitious than that. There's Malpass. They are doing well with the challenge, but it breaks to Bazdarovic. That's a Bejic to Bazdarovic in midfield. 
Mbappe trying to get back, stumbling. Here's Bezdarevic trying the chip shot. And the header back was by Nickel. Andy Gorham was alert. I'm not sure that Morris Malpass enjoyed that too much. Bet challenging hard and still battling hard with Spazic. Back with Jozic. Yugoslav's trying to take the sting out of the Scottish team. Retaining possession for as long as they can and now finding Katanec in space in midfield. Stojkovic, Katanec. This is Svetkovic. Stojkovic is always available in midfield. Vanojkovic is onside, there's dangers for Scotland. Got on with a fine piece of goalkeeping. Deflected from Malpass. Stanojkovic was onside, it was deflected by Malpass and well taken on the ground by Goran. Johnston complaining he was eased under the ball by his marker Radanovic. Referee not interested. Stanojkovic fighting it forward, this is Svetkovic. Still Svetkovic, he's a chance to turn. Slanting the ball into the glancing header, that was Bujovic who got away from Goff. Another moment of alarm for the Scottish defence. Played in by Spetkovic, the run was made by Vujovic, Goff was out of range and the header goes wide. Spetkovic with the header, there's Goff. No bet. And back to Miller. Change made now by Scotland. The change is the departure of Jim Bett. Apart from a vital role in Scotland's goal as an acquired match, he goes off and there will be a huge welcome for the replacement, who is Ali McCoyst. That, I think, will mean Brian McClure dropping back into a midfield role. McCoyst joining Johnston. Up front. There's Steve Nicol keeping the ball in play. Good link up there with McCoyst. That's towards Johnston. Stanojkovic taking too long on the ball. And that's a corner kick to Scotland. Well, I reckon they're very fortunate indeed to get that decision. I thought it was a goal kick, but let's see if Scotland can cash it. Ball next day is corner. An awkward one, but Ivkovic takes it comfortably with no real threat at near post. Miller and Malpass doing a two men back defending. Richard Goff trying to get him turned to Spazic. There's Darovic in midfield. We'll have to see how the Scottish midfield is regrouped. Put to look, Aiken has switched to the right. Down goes Svetkovic. The tackle came from Ball next day, so a free kick to Yugoslavia. Petkovic looking very lively indeed up front with Bujovic. Very potent strike force for Yugoslavia. And he got him, lines up a wall. And they recognise the shooting power of the Yugoslav. Stojkovic seems to be over this. As Darovic. On the ground for Svetkovic. As Darovic lofting it in towards the far side to Spazic. Roy Aiken is forced to play the ball to safety. It's a corner kick to Yugoslavia. Scotland currently finding things really tough out there. After a very good opening flurry in the second half, the Yugoslavs have settled again and look very impressive indeed. Stojkovic, though, in no particular hurry to take this corner kick. Scotland have everyone back in the box. Dangerous ball, but Gorham has looked secure all night. Warm applause for Andy Gorham once again. Well, there's goalkeeping that Andy Gorham can be proud of. Crowded goal area, clean catch. 
just Paul McStay for Scotland. Now McLeod in his new midfield role, judging that well, taking the ball for a run and taken out of it by Jovic. Well, in fairness to the defender, he hadn't much option there. McLeod committed him totally with that run. Well, McLeod was so dangerous in Oslo from the midfield running position. Jovic brings him down. It's a free kick to Scotland. Here now, Brian McClare showing complete conviction, seeing the gap, trying to exploit it coming forward, wrong putting Josic, playing the ball beyond him. That free kick slanting just ahead of Richard Goff, just out of range. An opportunity there almost for Goff. And now the Yugoslavs want to give attention to Vazdarovic. Hamstring strain, perhaps. They won't want to lose him from the action, but the referee has insisted he leave the field and that the Yugoslavs continue. And Danovic now wants to come back on and has been allowed to do so by Carlo Heinz Trishler, the West German referee. Well, Vujovic and Goff clashing, and the free kick goes against Goff. Vujovic proving himself to be a very elusive customer indeed. On loan from Bordeaux in France to Cannes. Like it goes to Jozic. McClare is trying to halt his progress. Here's McClare. Oh, that's fine play again. Here's Steve Nicol. McClare is going with him. Still Nicol. And McClare had checked out of the run. Nicol thought he was going to continue. That's why the pass was played there. Scotland now using Roy Aiken in a wide midfield right position. Stopping these runs from Spazic, I think. Stay in McClare in the middle. We've had one out of the match so far. And the referee is now going to take some action here with the Yugoslav goalkeeper. Now threatening, I think, a yellow card if he's guilty of any time wasting. Yukovic looks innocently towards the referee. Play will continue with a throw to Scotland. Boyce falling over without any help from Radanovic, his marker. And the Yugoslav striker Svetkovic jumping at the defender, not towards the ball. Free kick's been given and taken quickly by Scotland. They're anxious to get on with it. There's Richard Goff. Johnston's head flick and it's the Boyce just out of reach. Nicol arriving a shade late. A long run now for Nicol. Here's Stanojkovic. Uh, Stamina gets him back. Lee Miller going up. Richard Goff, the covering player. And uh, it's Morris Malpass taking it to safety. Using Nicol. Malpass dropping back to make the angle. Here's Paul McStay. That's a good play out of defence by Scotland. Here's Steve Nicol. Side again to next day. Resisting the challenge, losing his right boot, but keeping possession for Scotland. Here's Willie Miller. And Richard Goff in space on the right. McCoy's taken out of the play. Vodanovic coming in behind him. Bender disagrees with the referee, but the free kick it is to Scotland. Stay busily putting on his right foot out of your picture as Roy Aiken lines up the free kick. Aiken flights it in. Ivkovic wins it. Richard Goff throwing himself towards the ball, but the keeper got there first. Aiken's free kick. Ivkovic committed. There was Richard Goff hoping for the error. Is that a bit so the pass cut off by Aiken? Is McLeod inside is Paul McStay. Better play now from Scotland. With a more balanced side now with McLeod dropping back into midfield and McCoy up front. There's Steve Nicol. Stanojkovic trying to prevent any damage at the back. Stanojkovic with Nicol. Nicol keeps the ball in play. Here's Malpass looking for the early cross. Johnston leaves it to McLeod. McClare playing it forward, there's Roy Aiken, and it's cut back there at the last minute by Hadzi Bejic. Well, a great
great chance here is my player got a touch. Hadzi Bejik returned quickly enough to cut it off from Aiken. At the other end now, it's Yugoslavia. Here's Stojkovic. What a tremendous match this is. Stojkovic trying to get away from Malpass. Back at Dr. Stojkovic. Well, he had that powerfully enough. Just off target. Relief for Andy Gorham. Teed up by Stojkovic for the fullback. And that certainly wasn't following. fighting for possession, touched back calmly by Hadzi Bejic, 32 years old, winning his 33rd cap with the number five, and his experience being put to good use tonight. Now pass forcing into midfield, but it's Bozdarovic who wins it, playing it wide to the passer. Here's Vujic. Well, that's good play again, Vujic coming forward. Diving again as he ran into McClure, the referee not impressed. Here's Johnston. Oh, the clumsy first touch from Johnston, that's unusual. Rosic. Rosic coming forward again. Here's Steve Mickle, now McClure, he has space. Johnston on the right, McCoy's through the middle, here's Mo Johnston. The early ball played in and turned towards goal. I had the Bejic and retrieved by Ivkovic. Play again by Mo Johnston. <laughs> Goff judging that well. Here's Alec Kuklish playing into space for McCoy. Stojkovic was very quick to the ball. Stojkovic now. Back on the back by McLeish and Vujovic didn't succeed. Here's Vujovic breaking now on the right. Steve Nickel getting back. And Richard Goff nodding it calmly down to Gorham. Good play by Goff. On the break is McLeod. He seems to be all over the place now for Scotland. Having a fine match. Held back the pass because he thought there was an offside decision. As it to the header. Spazic now on the far side, but there this time on the right side of Scottish midfield. Aiken stopped it to the middle for the moment. Play switch to the near side here to Vujovic. Very accurate ball here. Stan Ojkovic making a decoy on the outside. Vujovic going forward. The set up for Bezdarovic. Well, he's not at all pleased with himself, Bezdarovic. One of the most two footed players I've seen for a long time. Equally comfortable on the left hand right. Stojkovic comes to the right. Scots have closed him up better in the second half, Stojkovic. That's an offside decision. Stojkovic racing forward. He's only getting his fourth cap tonight, but looks a very accomplished international player. Paul McStay for Scotland. Boy's trying to come off his marker without success. Here's Jozic. Yugoslav player on the ground as the long ball is pumped forward and Malpass turns it back to Gorham. The Yugoslavs want to bring on the player physio to give treatment to a player on the ground. Steve Nichols header goes to trouble at Stojkovic who's clear of Malpass. Here's a chance now, two against two for Yugoslavia. Stojkovic going inside, and it was Nickel who retrieves it. Back very quickly indeed. 
Johnny McCoyst battling hard up front, and that'll be a free kick, I'm sure. McCoyst lifting his boot too high. Hadji Bejik has gone down. McCoyst certainly going to play the ball, but in world football, that high challenge is unacceptable. Spazic and Hadji Bejik on the ground. We'll see why in a moment. A good challenge initially by McCoyst, but that high one was the one which upset the referee and gave the free kick to Yugoslavia.
Patrick's Day, playing it into space for McCoist. Well challenged though, immediately by Jozic. McCoist racing around up front, trying to find space. Here's Morris Malpass. Johnston and Nicol trying to keep the ball in play, but there's an offside decision given over on the far side. The free kick to Yugoslavia, just outside their own box. Well, Hadze Bejic, you will see there, who'll take the free kick, running about with complete freedom now after that play acting a few moments ago, which held up play for a couple of minutes. Tish is stay. Fine pass, finding Malpass. Nickel begins a run. It's cut off by Radanovic, and Nickel declares him, fighting it into one McCoist. The speedy, and now McCoy, so it's on, down he goes! Spazic made the challenge, the referee waves play on, ignoring the appeal for a penalty kick. Well, a dramatic moment here at hand then, a very clear appeal for a penalty kick. And Ali McCoy is going to be booked for what the referee considers as a deliberate dive. Let's see that again, there goes McCoy. Because he was nowhere near Spazic, the referee was right. That was a dive by McCoy. The referee read that correctly, and now he's administered a yellow card to the Scotland striker. It's hard to take issue with Carl Heinz Trishler, the referee tonight from West Germany. Here's Brian McClure. That was the Lord's voice. The ball is played into space now for Stojkovic. Quarter an hour remaining as Stojkovic attacks Boris Malpass. Still Stojkovic. Still Stojkovic setting up the chance. It was McLeish blocking the shot from Vestanovic. Scottish defence doing well there. But the menace again clear from Yugoslavia. Long pass back by Stojkovic. It is Alec McLeish was the defensive hero. Mr. Ivanovic. Goes Malpass. Here's David Speedy. Oh, that's given away to Katanak. Clear. A bit more untidy now, there was Nicol, that appeared to get challenged over the top by Jozic. Things getting untidy as we go into the stage where fatigue can set in. A crucial phase in the match, and it could be won by either side. Spazic coming forward. Vujovic going wide. With Vujovic now attacking William Miller. Heading it across beyond Nicol to... Stojkovic, back to Conte Stojkovic, and there was an offside flag up. Would have counted if Svetkovic had got a touch. Well, the Scottish fans are certainly appreciating the effort put in by the Scots. No lack of passion on the field or on the terraces, but the opposition is of the highest class. McCoy's wrestled off the ball by Radanovic, who's given by some very tough treatment indeed. Katanic wants a word with McCoy, well he certainly has caused some problems for the Yugoslav defenders. They're all devoting a lot of attention to the Rangers striker. Certainly looks like a rehearsed move. Next day, and Nickel, the flanking players. Now let's just see who actually plays the ball. Clearly a move on from Scotland. Played by Nickel. Out of the far side up goes little Speedy, and an offside flag up against Richard Goff. It's acknowledged by the referee, who allows Yugoslavia to continue. 
he gets up very high for this cross from Steve Nicholl. Very small play, but look how well he gets up. Goff was offside. looking for the vital winner but having to be very diligent in defence they must concede anything in these closing stages three points and two matches would not be disastrous by any means it's good build up again from Yugoslavia Katanic playing it into space for Vujovic Stojkovic available on the right prefers to go left towards Spazic he's challenged well by Goff Throw goes to Yugoslavia. Well, that looks surprising. Spazic just taking a knock in that collision. And I fancy he'll take some time to get back on his feet. Referee insisting there will be no hold up in play. Spazic will be up, I'm sure, quickly now. The play is back on. Tackle came from Speedy, that was a free kick, all right. Actually having a word with the Scottish substitute. Protest now coming from the Yugoslavs. Now here's a problem for the West German referee. Now will he be able to handle this? What action is going to be taken by Karl Heinz Trischler? Vujovic waving aside the players. Now the yellow card for Katanic. Apparently, after the yellow card, perhaps the referee didn't understand it. Well, Vujovic protesting vehemently. Yugoslavs want play held up. Oh, can the referee handle this? The Scots must keep their concentration. This could be part of the ploy. Azibejic, who started off the Flying Swan tactics some time ago in the thick of it all. The referee with some considerable difficulty now handling this. Yugoslav's now calling for the trainer. Well, let's hope Scotland haven't had their concentration disrupted by all that nonsense on the far side. Here comes the free kick. for William Miller coming in with a tackle had to concede the throw Yugoslav still retaining possession nevertheless Vujovic trying to get away from Malpass who wouldn't let him go wrestling him down so it's a free kick in a very dangerous position now for Yugoslavia Vujovic and Stojkovic finishing some blocks there for the free kick A substitute. The strike of it now with the free kick. Another moment of anxiety for the Scottish defence. <laughs> the Gorham has never shown any sign of being other than totally secure tonight. McCoy missed it. There's some diversion there. It's back to McCoy. There's Johnston. There was Johnston, the keeper, reacting brilliantly again. Steve Nichols pumping it straight back to Ivkovic in the Yugoslav goal. Whistling for the Scottish fans, a lot of time wasting now as Spazic it up on the far side, trying to get away from David Speedy without success. Snapping tackle from the little Coventry player. Now there will be a substitution by Yugoslavia. as it goes off. Interesting enough, he's limping off, but what was a head knock which caused him to lie down for so long. No hurry. 
Ali from Stajic to leave the field. The replacement eventually will be Salvin Adzovic. But it's going to be a long time for that to happen. The referee Krishwar again having difficulty with the Yugoslavs. Is it the field, the and the replacement, the Red Star Wars race player, Sabanadzovic. Vujovic backing into Richard Goff, but the throw goes to Yugoslavia. Zdarovic playing it back, it comes to Stanojkovic, the early ball in is picked up by McStay, no he missed it but retrieved it quickly, with Steve Nichol challenging Stojkovic, a little bit tense there as Pete was flying, the tackle came from Stanojkovic and Johnston, but it was perfectly fair, here's Svetkovic, a great chance for Yugoslavia, and an offside decision against Brujovic, Zdarovic in the thick of the action again for Yugoslavia. going up with Radanovic, the ball bouncing through, Johnston will try to keep the ball in play, Jozic content to let it run for the goal. Trying to lay that down for Speedy, it didn't come off, perhaps too late in the match to try to be quite so delicate with the pass. A body check by Goff, that's a free kick. And now a Yugoslav player rolls about again, here we go once more. Vujovic. Five minutes remaining, plus any time to be added on for stoppages by the West German referee, there could be quite a lot of that. Vujovic goes forward. This is Oh, that's good play coming inside. I'm sure that wasn't quite what he intended, and that's a throw to Scotland. Now, can Scotland muster the supreme effort in the closing stages to win the match? Willie Miller. Cross it goes to Goff, forced to play it back by the attention of Vujovic. Ball from Gorham. Johnston on the lead. There's Ali McCoist. Him off McCoist. The ricochet off Hadzibidic. And Ivkovic certainly earning his pawn late in the match. Johnston doing well with the head flick. Good control here from McCoist. He appeared to have lost possession at this point. But the clearance of Hadzibidic came off McCoist and was taken by the keeper. Stanojkovic offers himself at right back, and the keeper prefers the long ball forward. Leash holding off Svetkovic. There's McCoy, speedy breaks on the right. It's Paul McStay who has it, looking for Goff. Finds its way through to Speedy. Speedy well tackled by Vujovic. Richard Goff walking forward again. He could be in trouble with a foul throw. But he's not careful. Speedy lofting it forward. McClare nods it. McClare out of reach. The ball's not in wide. Slavin Adzovic plays it forward. Goff is there for Scotland. And Johnston couldn't reach it. So that's a Yugoslav throw. Total determination and commitment from the Scottish players. There can be no faulting that. There's blatant time wasting by the Yugoslavs once more. The referee goes to have words with Kozdanovic, but nothing stronger than a little lecture. I'm sure that will not trouble the US not there one bit. A foul throw is awarded though, so Scotland have possession. Well, let's see if this can be utilised. Alec 
McLeish asking for Goff to hold things up till he arrives in the box for the head flick on. There's McLeish. Speedy plays it in. It's back there for McLear. He tried to control the shot. Couldn't get it beyond Ivkovic. Well, a terrific effort now from the Scots. It was Speedy who forced it forward. It dropped there to Brian McLear who tried the snapshot on the tongue. Gordon is well out of his box, McLeish picks it up, and he's fouled by Bazdanovic. Andy Gordon was very quick leaving his box to play that to safety. Well, what a match it is, Andy Gordon has been outstanding for Scotland. There's McLeish, pushing the ball forward toward Richard Goff. There's Malpass, that was intended for Nicol. Next day wins it, here's Steve Nicol again with Stanojkovic. A late challenge by Nikol on Stanojkovic, it's a free kick to Yugoslavia, and Stanojkovic begins to die once again. Well, it was a late challenge by Nikol, there can be no doubt about that. Stanojkovic got the ball first, Nikol diving in with that challenge. But there is a theory that when a player can roll about so far, he isn't seriously hurt. Steve Nikol looks unmoved by it all. Shows no signs of wanting to remain off the field. Certainly was fouled, but was really making a meal of that. And I'm quite confident we'll see a second Yugoslav substitution before the end to waste some more time. Davinatovic, Davinatovic, here's Katanic, hustled by Speedy. Stojkovic had a quite a second half, closed down much better than the second half by the Scots, dominated the first half in midfield. Here's Jozic, quite content to play it back. The 90 minutes have come and gone, we're now into any time to be added on for stoppages by the West German referee. There could be a lot of that if he chose to interpret things strictly. Here's Vujovic though for the Yugoslavs. Well, that's good play again by Stojkovic. And Gorham keeps the ball in play. There was an offside flag up in any event, but Gorham wanted to keep the ball in play to get it forward for Scotland. Johnston appeared to be fouled, but there goes Ali McCoist. Still McCoist fighting for the ball in the box. Willie Miller goes to meet it. Laying it into space on the right, but there's no one there for Scotland, and the Yugoslavs have possession again. Looks as though time may well have run out for the Scots. Jozic has played very well indeed at the back, so has Hazibajic and Radanovic, the three central defenders. And after he's played one minute of extra time, on the much more he'll offer. There it goes wide from the cliche, that'll be a throw to Yugoslavia. And there will now be a second substitution. The Yugoslavs want to break things up yet again. It is quite surprising because they were so menacing in attack, the Yugoslavs. You had the impression that had they committed themselves to have a go at the Scottish defence, they may well have been very difficult to contain. But in the late stages, they've clearly settled for a point. So here's a stroll for Svetkovic coming off. Well, it's a Sunday afternoon amble. Blatant time wasting again by the Yugoslavs. The substitute coming on now is Jankovic from Anderlecht, the former Real Madrid midfield player. Here's Vujovic, tackled by Goff. The Yugoslavs happy, of course, to keep the ball towards that far corner flag. And no hurry to take the throw either. Speedy trying to make things easier for them. Ball is out for a goal kick, I think. No, it's a free kick the referee has given against Pazdarovic. So for Scotland, it looks as though they may be beaten by the clock. Against a very impressive Yugoslav side. Now, perhaps a last opportunity as Andy Gorham prepares to launch another shell upfield. Up goes McClear. Beaten to the ball, it's Malpass towards Nickel. Nickel lofting it forward. 
Mr. Lockwell again. And there goes the final whistle. He played three minutes of additional time. He certainly could have played more than West German referee. But in the end, the game finishes up all even. And that by no means is a disaster for the Scots because Yugoslavia looked to be a very impressive team indeed. Scotland getting a point from the first half goal from Boris Johnston, which was equalised late in the first half by Katanic. So over the piece, perhaps a fairly reasonable result for Scotland against such top-class opposition. In the end, the final score, Scotland 1, Yugoslavia 1.